Are you writing to your pen pal again? Guess what? He's invited me over for dinner. You can't go over to his place. That's totally irresponsible. Look, I know you're jealous, but there's room in my life for both you and my pen pal. I'm not jealous. I'm worried about you meeting strangers online. What do you know about him? What's his name? Ming the Merciless, Emperor of the Evil Empire. But I think that's just his username. Right. And where's he from? The planet Xanat. Xanat? The Xanats who prey on our species? The Xanats who declared war on us three times last year? The Xanats who like to eat us as a snack? I mean, it's not like that. Did he invite you over to eat dinner, or did he invite you over to be dinner? <laughs> Promise me you won't meet up with him. OK, you're right. Going over there for dinner is a terrible idea. Plus, to catch a space bus to planet Xana would mean I'd miss Danny's house. And no pen pal is worth that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my name's Danny, and this is her best friend Jack. Thanks. My name's Danny, and this is her brother Max. And his best friend Ben. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her friend Ruby. And I'm her sister Maisie. And I'm Danny, and this is the brilliant. Oh, 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 that's nice, but can we focus on the real drama? I've just got my latest script, and my character has to confront Nurse Thorne and challenge her to a sword-fighting duel. Cool. Well, that means you get your very first stunt double, right? No, I won't get a stunt double. I lied on my CV. I said I was a fencing expert. Why would you do that? It was a white lie. I also said I could ride circus horses, play the lute and speak fluent Latin. How many, how many times have I told you lying is a bad idea? If I hadn't have lied, I would have got the part. Those swords have sharp blades. You're going to get hurt. Remind me why you're here again. Oh, check it out. <laughs> My mum joined this Gapia website, right, and she totally hooked me up. Now, I met this Japanese guy called Kashuro. Now, I'm going to try and get an invite and go and stay with him. Isn't that a bit risky? I mean, you don't know anything about him. Uh, well, I know he lives on the ski slopes at Mount Fuji. What do you think? A snow pass, free accommodation and a paid job working the lifts. And that's not all. His brother is the one and only Ishiguru Shikatoke. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> the world champion snowboarder? If this comes off, Ishiguru's going to teach me how to snowboard. What's the catch? Well, no catch. When we become besties, he'll invite me to come stay with him in Japan. Konnichiwa, dude. It's Japanese. <laughs> I'm hanging at my mate's place. I've got a recipe for ginger cookie surprise. What? No, don't say you're baking. Say something interesting. Oh, how about I tell him about the tour I took at the Dotty Donut Factory last week? You think that's going to impress him? Why don't you say you're underwater caving or you're sending this email while dangling from a hang glider? No, you might lie about fencing to bump up your application, but that's just something I'm not going to do. But that's how I landed the part. A few white lies opens doors. Dishonesty is frowned upon in Japanese culture. Speaking of Japanese culture, I've got a craving for pizza. <laughs> I wish Jack would let me help him seem more exciting. A good friend wouldn't rest until Jack's trip to Japan was a reality, and I am a very good friend. Dear Kashuro, so much to tell you about my windswept daredevil lifestyle. Where do I begin? Max, Max, you can do this. Think positive. You're where? Weighing outside the fitting rooms. I don't know, Max. Tell her she looks good or something. Make something up. Be nice. We need Katie to like you. I don't understand. Max on a date with an actual girl. Yeah, Katie Pepper. Her dad's Tommy Pepper, the famous record producer. He's the guy who turned down Lady Gaga. She promised to give her dad our demo CD if Max goes on a date with her. She's taking him clothes shopping. Ouch, that must be torture for Max. <laughs> Hello? No, sorry, it's my here. Can I take a message? Yep. Mm-hmm. OK, bye. That was Katie Pepper. She said she can't make the date today because Justin Bieber invited her to his pool party. Then who's Max out clothes shopping with? Some other girl called Katie. Young love can be so complicated. I've got to warn Max. <laughs> Max, if you get this voicemail, you're out with the wrong Katie. Abort the date. Abort immediately. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're here. Someone to practice my fencing on. Turns out the book I borrowed from the library is actually how to install a chicken wire fence. It's got nothing to do with sword fighting. <laughs> Prepare to die. Sorry, Danny. I don't have time. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Baking more cookies? No. You'll never guess. Kashuru is coming to visit. Here? He's coming here? I thought you were the one who was meant to visit him in Japan. 
Well, he's got a stopover on his way to the Dusseldorf Moonbeam Festival. <laughs> he suggested we meet her. I invited him here. No, you, you can't. Look, if I host him here, he'll feel obliged to return the hospitality. On the ski slopes at Mount Fuji. Oh, tell me this isn't happening. See, I was worried this was going to happen. Just because I've got an exciting new friend, that doesn't mean you still can't be my friend too. Yeah, you're a little bit less interesting. It's not about that, you pumpkin. <laughs> I've got something to tell you. I've been writing to Kashiro pretending to be you. Huh? When? Once or twice. A day. For the last seven days. You, you hijacked my login and emailed Kashiro? I was trying to make you seem more exciting, you know, bumping up your application. Well, what did you say? That you had a black belt in karate. Well, that's cool. That you have a little puppy called Rocket. I love dogs. That your Lord Jackson Appleby of Hathaway Hall, you live in a castle with many servants and you once wrestled a tiger. Are you crazy? I panicked. Because she mentioned a Canadian pen pal. As soon as I realised you had competition... What? He's been emailing the other pen pals. That's why I had to give you a castle. We need to make sure you're the one he chooses. The one who gets to stay for free. That's Kashiro. He got an earlier plane, he's landed, and he's on his way. Wow, that was really fast. Normally you get held up at check-in. <laughs> Cheapo. We keep our prices like we fly our planes. So low it's scary. You got any baggage to check in? Sent it on ahead. Very wise. We don't need to lose it. Do you have your ticket? Sent it on ahead. Oh, very organized. Now all I need is your passport. Sent it on ahead. Oh, well, in that case, have a good flight, sir. <laughs> uh, where's the plane? Sent it on ahead. <laughs> Kashiro's on his way over. What am I going to do? Pretend to be Lord Appleby. I mean, how long is he staying for? 24 hours. Well, with jet lag and sightseeing, that's more like four hours. Look, this is doable, trust me. I don't seem to have much of a choice, do I? Oh, I'll have to be Lord Appleby's brother, Hugo. But I have a brother. <laughs> well, when your mum died in the plane crash, you discovered your half-brother living in the attic. Caring for him is the only thing that kept you sane. That's it. I'm changing my password. Don't not. Ah, I'm changing it again, then. Don't not. <sighs> again. Catch up. Are you psychic? <laughs> Hurry up, because Shiru's going to be here any minute. <laughs> yeah, you might want to cut back on the girly twirls in French. You're supposed to be a lord. <laughs> that's better. Oh, that's him. Right, let me do all the talking. <laughs> no chance. That's why I got in this mess in the first place. Oh, Jack! <laughs> Jack! <clears throat> Bonjour, Gozimasu. Welcome to England. Hey, pleased to meet you, Lord Appleby-san. I looked for your car picking me up from the airport, sir, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I gave the show for the day off. This is a uh, sister's wedding. Oh. Uh, this is my brother, uh, Lord... Lord... Hugo! Pleased to meet you, Lord Hugo. <laughs> this must be the brother you rescued from the tiger, eh? <laughs> yes, the, the, the tiger. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. Can I see your scars, eh? Maybe later. <laughs> Are you wearing lipstick? Yes. So what if I am? <laughs> <laughs> come in. Come in. Yeah, I've got to say, your English is really, really impressive. Don me arigato. I watched a lot of TV. It's also like living on Mount Fuji. Do you get to spend a lot of time with Ishiguru? Who? Your brother, the champion snowboarder. Oh, we call him Ishi. I'll never get used to having a famous brother. So, where can I put in my backpack? Are we travelling to your castle in the Highlands now or, or later? Uh, sorry, my, um, my castle's out of bounds. Yeah, they're um, having it refurbished. What a shame. It looked amazing in the photo you sent to me. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe I went to the trouble of sending you a photograph. It's good you gave attention to the proper details. It's an amazing castle. How long has it been in your family? Enough about me. Let's get you settled. And the Lord Appleby son, no. I wouldn't expect you to wait on me. Surely your robot butler deals with the luggage. My, my, my what? My robot butler? Of course! Zappo, your robot butler. I completely forgot. How could you forget about a robot butler? Yeah, how could you? No, I mean, I've left him on charge. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get your robot butler! <laughs> <laughs> My non-existent robot butler is on the charger. What's I supposed to say? Oh, I don't know. How about my robot butler is at the Menders? Or it fell down a well? Or better yet, I sold it to the Princess of Greece. What's this? I don't do that. Yeah, you do. Every time you lie. Stop that. You're going to give us away. Me? I'm not the one who made up a robot butler. Where am I meant to come up with a zapper? Think. 
where are we going to find someone gullible enough and gormless enough to pull off a convincing robot man? <laughs> what? <laughs> I am Zappo. Zappo is pleased to meet you. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Impressive. He can even speak Japanese. No, just konnichiwa. Maybe he should be less formal. I need to adjust the settings. Wow! I thought you said only had to make an appearance. You said it would only take five minutes. Zip it, Zappo. Welcome to our home. Amazing. Are those nose hairs? He's so realistic, yet with the same vacant stare of a dumb machine. Hey! <laughs> He's a deluxe model. And seeing as he doesn't have any human instincts or emotions, you can ask him to do whatever you want and he won't get upset. Anything? Almost anything. I'd love to see him tap a dance. Hmm? <laughs> dance, Zappo! Faster, Zappo! Faster! <laughs> I think we need the tap dancing upgrade. <laughs> Bravo! If only my father were here, he'd love to meet Zappo. Oh, does he like tap dance? He's very high up in the Japanese entertainment company. Wow. you got such an exciting family. Dad would pay millions to sign up a dancing, singing, juggling robot. Wow. When you say it out loud like that, sounds almost unbelievable. <laughs> he would be huge in Japan. Really? Maybe you should take a show to see the sights, Lord Appleby. All by myself? Yes. Take the time to get to know each other so I can work on my fencing. Wow, you fence. I'd love to see a demonstration. So would I. <laughs> I'll get the door. Perhaps you could show me where Lady Appleby was buried in Westminster Cathedral. <laughs> or, instead, uh, we can go go-karting. Uh, that sounds fun, too. Are you sure we don't need a bodyguard to help us avoid the paparazzi? Oh, I won't worry about the paparazzi. I'm a very obscure lord. <laughs> don't hurry back! Coordinator Zark, our mail is here. Ah! Oh, sorry, none for you today. What could this be? For my brand new pen pal. See, I've got one now. My pen pal is so thoughtful. And what's this? Oh, chocolate caramels, yum! Quark Mozza is the best pen pal ever. Quark Mozza, the famous author. That's right, he's my pen pal. Quark Mozza, who won the Plucker Prize for Literature. His letters resonate like a heavenly symphony. Quark Mozza, who died last year in a freak asteroid accident. You did? OK, OK. I made up a pen pal to impress you. Whoa, I can't believe Quark Mozza's really dead. He isn't. I made it up to catch you out. <laughs> Max, you don't understand. There's something you need to know about your date, Katie. Max! Max! No luck? Max has turned his phone off to go into the cinema. She suggested they watch a chick flick. Ouch, Max isn't gonna like that. Right, I've got to get to the cinema and tell Max he's out with the wrong girl. You'll have to get yourself another Zappo. All I have to do is call Katie Pepper and your demo CD will never make it to her dad. Wow, I had no idea you could be so mean. Please, Ben. You're the best Zappo ever. It's truly a magnificent performance. Well, in the beginning, it was hard to get into character. But after I found Zappo's motivation, it just came naturally. Better go practice my tap dancing. God. I thought you two were out. Uh, Kashiro thought it would be nice to invite Lord Hugo uh, go-karting, you know, considering he's just recovered from the tiger attack. Oh, wait a minute, you're not Lord Hugo, yet you look exactly like him. I see what is going on here. I can explain. That's right, the twins. I'm sorry, what? Kashiro, meet Lady Jennifer, Lord Hugo's twin sister. Oh. Delighted to meet you. You never mentioned a sister in your emails. Yeah, that is because I'm ashamed of her. But why? You're ashamed of me? Yeah. Look at her. You know, she has no idea how to fence. Quite frankly, it's embarrassing. Is that an umbrella? It's interesting. The Lord Hugo has the same hobby. Hugo's a lot better than me. So, how come I didn't meet you earlier? Because... because I was away. Oh. In Antarctica, studying polar bears. I just got back. Wow, what an interesting family. Would you like to join us go-karting? Sure, why not? I'll just go ask Ward Hugo to join us too. Ward Hugo! Uh, uh, Hugo uh, can't come. But why not, man? 
Uh, well, see, uh, see, <laughs> it's yeah. actually a really, really funny story. <laughs> Jennifer, fill him in. It's, it's, it's a family feud. Hugo and I hate each other. We never speak. It all started when our mother was killed in the car crash. I thought it was a plane crash. It was. The plane crashed into the car. We argued. We even fought a duel. That's tragic. In Japan, family is everything. You and Walt Hugo have a duty to make up. You must sit down together, face to face. Not gonna happen. Dear Lady Jennifer, if only you could see how alike you and Walt Hugo are. Same books, same voice, same mannerisms, same weak handshake. Even same whipstick. <laughs> we get that a lot. Appleby, go get what you go. Let's get these kids talking again. <laughs> okay. I'll just uh, go to the bedroom uh, to get Hugo. Okay. Off I go. <laughs> I promise I will do everything I can to help fix this family rift. Thank you. Busting for the loo. <laughs> Be back in a sec. <laughs> Are you deliberately trying to blow this operation? What did you take the Hugo costume off? It was itchy. Besides, you weren't supposed to be back so soon. I am this close to an awesome Japanese skiing experience. Look, I got you into this mess, and I am going to lie through my teeth until I get you out of it, OK? OK. Look, sorry I got mad. The pressure got to me. Well, the last thing I need is to end up in Japan with no friends and no way home. I'll be stranded. Day 189. No sign of a rescue team. All hope is lost. Pardon me! Did you write this SOS message in a bottle asking to be saved? <laughs> no. That's, that's not my handwriting. Oh, it could, could belong to the shipwreck survivor on the next but one island. Oh, all right. Well, uh, thanks for your help. Sorry to disturb you. Enjoy your evening, yeah? Any time. <laughs> You wanted to see me. Ah, oh, Hugo, I would love to help you and Jennifer become friends once again. Uh, where did Jennifer? <laughs> where is she? Taking Antarctica. a nap. <laughs> On her way to Antarctica. I find that hard to believe. She just went to the toilet. If I didn't know any better, I would say you both were deliberately trying to avoid this reunion. <laughs> is your busy water. Oh. <laughs> Zappo is sorry. The robot has made a mistake. How is this possible? I'm not even allowed to make a mistake. How can you expect me to handle this kind of pressure? It's not natural. I've got real feelings and emotions. I am not made of metal. <laughs> wow, that oversensitive drama queen upgrade really works. Won't be a minute. We're not always like this. Max, Max, Max. Whoops. <laughs> She's supposed to be a robot. I won't get into this charade. Max just called. He's at the theme park. But before I had the chance to tell him he's out with the wrong girl, he switched off his phone because they were about to enter the tunnel of love. Max, <laughs> the tunnel of love? <laughs> Perhaps I could help. Oh, now's not really a good time. Have you tried turning him off and on again? <laughs> Where do you keep the batteries? I don't want to be a robot anymore. I don't like serving drinks and I refuse to dance for you. Leave me alone. This is serious. A malfunctioning robot like Zappo could wreak havoc. Yes, sir. You should probably get yourself to safety while I figure out how to reset him. <laughs> Please, Ben, we really need your help. Look, just forget about Tommy Pepper and his daughter. If you just be Zappo for a little longer, I'll get you an interview of Kashiru's dad. You could do that. I've got Kashiru eating out of my hand. He believes anything I say. Zappo is at your service. <laughs> what are you doing? I need a sugar hit. I can't eat in front of Kashuru. Posh people don't eat donuts. Oh, come on. Look, I've reset Zappo, but I'm not sure how long it will last. The sooner we get rid of Kashuru, the better. We can't get rid of him until he invites me to Japan. Yeah, and how's that going? I keep hinting, but I don't think he likes me. Come on, you're a lord. What's not to like? <laughs> Max? Oh, thank goodness. I've been trying to reach you all day. What do you mean you're in the hospital? A mishap in the tunnel of love? <laughs> Should you be using your mobile? Doesn't it interfere with the equipment or something? Max? Max, are you there? Max! <sighs> <laughs> ah, 
a look at the time. Shouldn't you be getting ready to go to the airport? You know, beat the queues, check it early. My flight isn't for hours. Well, that would be. There's something I'd be meaning to ask you. Yes, yes. I'd love to come and stay with you in Japan. That wasn't what I was going to say. I, I, I was wondering if you could arrange for me to meet the Queen. I'd love to go to Buckingham Palace. I know. Why don't we watch the TV so we don't have to talk to each other and say things we'll regret? Well, is Doctor Who starting? Do you get that in Japan? Sure. <laughs> Hello, McCurdy's Hospital. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. We can explain. Oh, what is going on? I'm really sorry. I, I never meant to lie to you. It was her idea. <laughs> I only lied to make him seem more interesting. What are you talking about? I'm not a lord. I don't own a castle. I don't know karate. I've never even wrestled a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> She's not Hugo. Whoa! She's Jennifer. There is no Jennifer. I'm not following. Look, all I wanted was to stay with you in Japan, land the job and the snowboarding lessons. We like to impress you. But lying is evil, and I swear I will never tell a single lie ever again. <laughs> OK, maybe the odd one here and there. I don't understand. Why are you telling me all of this? You didn't just see Danny on the television? I'm a television actress. I'm Nurse Ward Magnet. That soap is my show. I wasn't paying any attention. I hate stupid soap operas. Hey, it's not stupid. Well, it is a little bit stupid. Wait a minute. So we confessed for no reason? All this time I felt unworthy hanging out with you. Like there was no way a ward would ever want to be my friend. That's the last thing I wanted. Yeah, as soon as you mentioned your Canadian pen pal, we felt insecure. Lying just seemed like a good solution. That's crazy. Since I made up the Canadian pen pal. <laughs> you made him up? I wanted you to think I was popular. To be honest, I lied about quite a lot of things. You lied? Well, isn't that frowned upon in Japanese culture? My dad's not a big shot in the Japanese entertainment industry. There'll be no tapa dancing deal for Zappo. Well, deep down, I think we all knew that wasn't going to happen. Ross, my brother is an Ishiguro Shakakoti. I can't get you a job on the ski slopes. Ouch. <laughs> I guess when you meet someone online, you don't know who you're talking to. Uh, I suppose I lied to you because I didn't want you to think I was boring. Who wants to know about my ginger cookie surprise recipe? Wow, we both sound as boring as each other. I'm not going to the Mung Bean Festival. Truth is, I'm booked for a tour around the Dotty Donut Factory. I love the Dotty Donut Factory tour. <laughs> Did you know they use the same sprinkles on the white donuts as they do the pink ones? Yet somehow they taste so, so different. different. <laughs> I'm so relieved you're not a ward. There was no way I could invite you to my house when I thought you lived in a castle. What, you mean I could still come and stay with you? <laughs> of course. But there is something you should know. I worried about living in Japan to sound cool. I'm actually from Cornwall. <laughs> I love Cornwall! <laughs> oh, oh. Here are your ice creams. Enjoy. Hey, you fix Zappo. I love this little robot. Any chance I could borrow him next weekend? Sure, why not? I'd better be off. I'll be late for my dotty donut tour. Oh, I'd love to come. Oh, Aren't they doorballs just the best? Yes, yeah, I know. What is going on? Oh, you don't have to talk like that anymore, Ben. Come on, I'll explain. So the thing is, he's not actually from Japan. Does that mean I'm not going to Japan? <laughs> Zarina, hi. Um, it's about the fencing. I've got a confession to make. You see, the thing is... I'm sorry, what? The script's changed. The fencing's been cut. Deleted. Oh, that's great news. Thanks. I love the new idea. Well, at least I think I will when I've read it. I mean, those writers are genius. OK, ciao, kiss, kiss, ciao. Your new script arrived. Oh, great news. The fencing's been cut. Nurse Wood Magnet doesn't have to duel anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Something wrong? They've replaced the fencing with a horse circus. Now Wood Magnet has to ride a dancing horse. Are you sure this is set in a hospital? <laughs> what am I going to do? I should never have lied about running away to the circus at the age of six. <laughs> Thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> I know, that's why I kept phoning you. You were out with the wrong Katie. <laughs> and I tried to warn you, I swear. <laughs> you're not printing again. You're going to use up all the colour ink. It's just something for me. My pen pal I met online. I thought we agreed you were going to be a little bit more careful with your online profile. Relax, this is harmless. He's just asked for details on our computer security system. Really? He's fascinated. 
funny story. Yesterday, I had to send in the blueprints of our ship and then the password so we could access the mainframe. Plus classified. If that information gets into the wrong hands, it could be used to blow up planets. I trust Ming totally. He 